there's a dark secret in Granite Falls. An unsolved crime now making headlines far beyond the jagged peaks just outside of town. It's horrifying that, mm -hmm. that people have that much disrespect for life. My, my, my first reaction was I was disgusted. The chilling discovery came on January 9th. Four dead bald eagles, their bodies found in a lake. Three adults, one juvenile. Investigators say it was obvious three of the birds had been shot with a small caliber rifle and suspect that's what killed the fourth bird too. Everyone's just shocked. That's not something a normal person would do. It seems the eagles had been perched in trees, then picked off one by one, as if someone was taking target practice, each bird falling into the lake below. Investigators aren't releasing the location or name of the lake. There are several in the area. They only say the lake is just outside of town. Seeing a bald eagle, it's really majestic, and I appreciate seeing them. So it really, you know, it touched me um, to see them murdered, massacred. Granite Falls dog trainer Daphne Robert Hamilton is also an avid bird watcher. She only needs to look as far as the pond, just beyond her front door. We have bald eagles that fish, and you can see them perched at the top of the trees and dive bomb and catch a fish. They're obviously a big bird, so they demand presence, but not only that, they're the national symbol. I mean, so we have con connection to that. You'll be hard-pressed to find someone with a stronger connection to a bald eagle than Jeff Gidry. That might help explain his reaction to what happened in Granite Falls. Well, I think if they find the people who did it, they should kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just, un it's just unconscionable. It's, uh, um, it's, it's appalling. It deserves a lot of people. So, I mean, obviously there's some sick people out there. This eagle, named Freedom, is alive today because of Gidry. When only about three months old, the bird fell out of its nest, breaking bones in both wings. Gidry looked after the bird at a wildlife care center, bringing it back from near death. That was 14 years ago. Gidry says Freedom ultimately returned his gift, helping him survive his battle with stage 3 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, culminating in a moment during which he says the bird wrapped both of its wings around him. It's a story detailed in Gidry's book. I mean, it's a spiritual experience with these birds. They're, uh, you know, they're, they go way back with the, with the first people here, being a messengers to grandfather, the great spirit, you know, and they're also spirit guides to the other, to the other side of the world, you know, other world. And so working with these guys, I mean, there are moments, and Cindy's had hers and I've had mine, I mean, where it just, it takes your soul and it's just you and, and this soul on this planet and everything else kind of just goes away because it's that heavy of a bonding experience with these guys and they, they do get to your soul. Yeah. You've been there. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps that helps explain what brings so many people to places like Rockport, where eagles feast on Skagit River salmon in the wintertime. People are excited. You know, they, they, they're really excited. They've driven for over three hours, most of them. I think most of the people that have come up here today are from the Seattle area. So they've come a long way just to see eagles. And it's a really exciting, cool thing to see. Only this year, many people are expressing disbelief at what's unfolded in Granite Falls. And not even, I don't think the people that did it comprehend even what they did. Mm. So that's bad. Yeah, wasteful and cruel. And they didn't, you know, like take mm. the feathers or anything else, you know, the thing, they just shot them for sheer orneriness and, you know, that ain't right. Yeah. Shoot some cans that's or random. something, geez. Hearing that those eels were shot, it's just something that you don't expect and it's just horrifying and shocking and what kind of reaction can a person really have? There's no reason that, that something like that should ever happen. Like the river that cuts deep into Granite Falls, there is hope that the truth will work its way out. Some say the way people tend to talk, the dark secret will be short-lived. There is a reward fund in this case, and it continues to grow. Right now, the dollar figure stands at $13,750 
cash with contributions coming from the Stillaguamish Tribe, State Fish and Wildlife, the Humane Society, and Conservation Northwest. You can call in your tips at 877-933-9847. You can also email a tip to reportpoaching at dfw.wa.gov. I'm Mark Horner. Thanks for watching.